The woods and meadows surrounding the Fielding Borough were filled with all kinds of wonderful and interesting creatures. Some crept silently close to the ground. Some flew through the air. While others walked tall and made a great deal of noise. Some were given plenty of room to roam wherever they wished. And some, well, they followed their curiosity wherever it led them. Good. Is that what I think it is? Jeez! I'll get some plates. Whoa! Not so fast. We're saving this cheese for a special day. Yes, and every day's a special day. Isn't that what you always say, Grandpa? It's being saved for another special day. Aw, no fair. Can we at least smell it? Mm-hmm. Well, Grandpa, what makes things smell so good? A good smell is a good smell because... It smells so good. Hello, Fieldings. Hello, Bridget. Hello, Sweeney. Hello, Mrs. Fielding. Hey, Eckert, you want to cool off down at the... Uh, cool off at the... Hey, who's been cutting the cheese? Grandpa brought it home, but we're saving it for a special day. But I thought you said every day. <laughs> Forget it. We've already tried that. <laughs> oh, well, let's go cool off at the pond then. Okay, good idea. See ya. Wait for us. Oh, just a minute. I think you and Sweeney had better stick closer to home. Ah, uh, no fair. We never get to go to the pond. Why don't we fix a picnic basket for you two? That's a grand idea. Picnic is more fun than the pond any old day. It looks like the stray walkers took off in a hurry. Wonder what got into them. Probably the same thing that's getting into that basket. Whoa, Bridget, I've never seen one so close. Trust me, Eckerd, you don't want to get any closer to that. After all, he's a real stinker. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Last one in, stinky old skunk. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Bridget? 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 Bridget, where are you? Doesn't it ever bother you, never being able to go off and explore? It used to, until I learned to play my own games. Like what? Well, like the opposite game. What's that? I'll show you. <coughs> I must thank you for this disgusting feast. The sandwiches taste like sawdust, and the tea is worse than ditch water. Well, I've never. Don't you get it? It's the opposite game. I say the opposite of what I mean. I really like your food. Bridget! Bridget? Quit fooling around! I know you're in there! You're not scaring anybody, Bridget! Bridget? My splash? No, something else. Kind of sounded like the cat. The only cat I see is a scaredy cat holding onto his lily pad. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Mavis. Give it a try. Hmm. I hate picnics on nights like this when the moon is shining and the sky is... is... What's the opposite of blue? <laughs> Some things just don't have opposites. They are what they are. 
but you're catching on to the game. Do you hear that? Yes, and it's coming this way. What's the opposite of scared? I don't know, but I hope I can act that way. Do you think it's safe? I don't know. <gasps> hey, you're not a cat. <laughs> oh, heavens no. I could assure you I'm no cat. In fact, I'm quite harmless. Sir Roswald is the name. Sir Roswald the Third. Oh, I am Mavis Fielding the First, and this is my friend Sweeney Burns. I think he's the first, too. We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us, Roswald? Brilliant! It seems Lady Fortune has smiled on Roswald again. <laughs> This makes two picnics in one day. <sighs> Is uh, anything the matter? Keep the game going. Of course not. I was just wondering, um, what uh, kind of cologne you're wearing. Actually, I'm not wearing any cologne at all. The scent is pure Roswald the Third. Oh, you smell, um... Nice! It certainly is refreshing to find young mice with such refined tastes. Do you know that others actually find my scent somewhat distasteful? No, you don't say. <laughs> oh, they do. In fact, it limits the amount of acquaintances I have, leading to a rather isolated and lonely existence. What did he say? I don't think he has any friends. That's because no one can understand him. I don't think that's why. <laughs> Eckhart, look! I can't believe it! My brother, your sister, picnicking with a skunk! What are you doing, Mavis? Do you want to end up stinking? Dearest sister, please do have a seat. I would like you to meet our friend, Sir Roswell. We were just about to offer him some sawdust sandwiches and ditchwater tea. Sawdust? Ditchwater tea? Sister? Oh, well, actually, it's been lovely meeting you, but I'm afraid I cannot stay. I've uh, a rather pressing engagement which slipped my mind. <laughs> oh, perhaps we can meet again, and I'll provide the refreshments. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Tally-ho. See you soon, Sir Roswald. Yeah, smell you later. She means see you later. Whatever. How could you stand to be around that... that smell? We like his smell. Huh? You've been playing the opposite game again, haven't you? All right. <laughs> he doesn't smell so good, but I like him anyway. I don't think he has any friends. Come on! Yeah, 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 stop stinking, you stink around, you stinky old stink. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! What, are they crazy? Well, maybe they are, but you don't have to hurt him. He wasn't doing you any harm. Tell him to get out of the way. They're simply scoundrels filled with prejudice. What did he say? Some kind of seafood or juice, I think. We are not filled with produce. <laughs> I don't even know what it tastes like. <laughs> I rest my case. It is plain to see what these creatures are, exhibiting such rude behavior without cause. Can two little mice find such trouble on a picnic? Well now, how was your swim? Oh, good. The water's perfect. Grandpa, what does prejudice mean? Prejudice? Well, that's when you make up your mind about someone before getting to know them. Why do you ask? Oh, 
I was just thinking about something someone said. They're having a hard time because, well, they don't smell too good. I was wondering if we covered the bad smell with something good, he'd have no problem with people being prejudiced. Guess what, Grandpa? I made a new friend today. A skunk? Can you still smell him <laughs> on me? <laughs> no, it's totally gone. How'd you do that? Bayberry leaves and a lot of scrubbing. It's the only remedy I know of. Hey, do you think that could work on our friend Roswald? I think we need to have a little talk. It's a good thing that you want to help your friend Roswald, but you should be careful about trying to change him into something he's not. But Grandpa, he smells awful. Well, sometimes what seems bad can turn out to be good. Did you know the first time I was given a piece of cheese, I didn't like it. But I thought every mouse loves cheese. Not me. I couldn't even stand the smell of it. But after getting used to it, I learned to like it as much as any mouse. Maybe more. What does that have to do with Roswell? Sometimes it's better to try and find the good in others and hope they'll do the same for you. But if Roswell doesn't get rid of his smell, he'll never make friends. Don't you think there's anything you could like about his smell? I'll never ever like that smell. Never is sometimes sooner than we think. Eckhart awoke with his head full of ideas for helping his new friend, Sir Roswald. Hello, Sir Roswald. I've got some good ideas for getting rid of your smell. Then you'll have all sorts of friends. What are you talking about, Eckard? He's a skunk. Why would we help a skunk? You mean to say you really don't like my smell? You smell awful. Young lady, where were you raised? In a barn? Uh-huh. Well, it shows. Sir Roswald, we still want to be your friend, but you see... So, you don't like my smell either? Well, it's just that I had to take a long, yucky bath to get rid of the smell on me. Well, uh, perhaps it is time for a change. You won't regret this, Roswald. This is going to be a special day. A very special day. Bayberry leaves and lots of scrubbing. This is a sure thing. Time to get to work. This is hard work. Come on, Mavis. This is our chance to explore the pond. It looks like someone was having a feast. Yeah, but it's all gone. Here's something. And it smells good. <laughs> Better hurry before it's gone. <laughs> Boy, that was delicious. Excuse me. Uh, give me a push, sweetie. I can't get out. Uh, out! Stop! I can't get through. Pull me back. Uh, I think you're stuck, Mavis. It must be all that sweet stuff we drank. Uh, 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 oh. uh, Well, you're not stuck up there anymore. No, now I'm stuck down here. Hmm. This is it. Time for the big test. Ready? <sighs> I 
I think he smells worse. I take it the plan was not a success. It is quite a tenacious odor. I'm afraid it's back to the drawing board, Sir Roswald. Perhaps another day, Eckhart. Perhaps another day. All that work for a skunk. Poor Roswald. There must be something we can do to change his smell. Hey, where did Mavis and Sweeney go? Mavis! Sweeney! It's time to go! Eckhart! Eckhart! Bridget! We're in here! Bridget! Help! They can't hear us. I know. On the count of three, let's yell together. One, two, three! Eckhart! I heard something over here. There they are. How on earth did you get in there? <laughs> Never mind. We'll get you out. Go, oh, it won't budge. We'd better get some help. We're going to get some help. <laughs> yeah, you two stay put. They'll be back to get us out. At least it can't get any worse. <laughs> hey, Shorty, check this out. <laughs> hey, good one. <laughs> Let me try. Not with that hand, you dimwit. Use this one. It works better. Ned, Shorty, we need your help. Mavis and Sweeney are trapped. I don't know. We're kind of busy right now. Yeah, besides, What's in it for us? Well, we did leave some cheese back at the pond. <gasps> cheese? Did you say cheese? Mm -hmm. We're, We're your mice! <laughs> Maybe she won't see us. She sees us. At least she can't get at us while we're in here. It can't get any worse. I'm Mavis and Eckhart's Grandpa Thomas. You must be Roswald. Yes, Sir Roswald III. A pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you, Sir Roswald. Have you seen Mavis or Eckhart? They've been gone for some time and their mother's worried about them. Well, yes, I just left them down by the pond. It worked. It's gone. She's up there, waiting! <sighs> oh no! And here comes Edgar and Bridget! Wait! Stop! Edgar, Bridget! Wait! Wow! <laughs> they sure are glad to see us! Don't worry! We are here to rescue you! Hmm, something's wrong. I've seen this before. It's a... Cut! All right. On the count of three, let's split up and we'll confuse her. One... Three! Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> all safe from the cat. Things can't get Don't out. even say it. Oh! Uh-oh. We're starting to sink. <laughs> How can we get them out of there? Maybe you could try to distract the cat. And I... <gasps> it's your Grandpa Thomas. He's heading straight for the cat. <sighs> he must not see her. We gotta warn him. Grandpa, look out! Cat! Just left him alone. Come on, let's go help. Maybe she's not a mouse. Or maybe she is. Ah! Not 
Not on my watch, you don't. <laughs> Take that. Phew. That was close. Thanks, Roswald. You saved us. All in the line of duty, my dear. But the job's not yet complete. There's more rescuing to be done. Follow me. All right, everyone. Oh! Grandpa, how'd you get past the... Ooh, Grandpa, you stink. That's how you got past the cat. Roswell's cologne. And that's what you meant when you said what at first seems bad can really be good. I'm sorry for all the mean things I said to you, Sir Roswald. Actually, I think I'm starting to like your smell. All I know is that smell is like cat repellent. <laughs> hey, Roswell, give us a squirt. I do believe the clone of Sir Roswald III is catching on. <laughs> 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 Grandpa, why do you think we couldn't change Sir Oswald's smell? Because that is the way he was meant to be. Think about it, Eckhart. What if you had changed his smell? Where would we be then? I guess we'd be in a lot of trouble. That's right. So I guess the only thing that really changed was the way I see... Or, I mean, the way I smell Sir Oswald. <laughs> Laddie, you can say that again. <laughs> 